All right, everyone, welcome back to German Cooks, bringing cooking back home. Today, we're gonna do a little Indian food. So we're gonna do some chicken tikka, a little bit of brown basmati rice, and roasted carrots. Stay tuned, we're gonna show you how it's done. All right, so first we're gonna start with the marinade for the chicken. A lot of ingredients going into this, guys. We're gonna try sheep milk yogurt this time. I've never had sheep milk, so we're gonna do that. Um, some paprika, some onion powder, ground cinnamon, coriander, cumin, chili powder. So those will be our dry. We'll add that now and then we'll come back to our, the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we'll start with the paprika first. I'm gonna be generous with the paprika, okay? See, I'm doing at least 20 shakes. A little onion powder, don't need very much. Cinnamon, don't need to do too crazy with cinnamon, just a little bit like that there, okay? Uh, coriander, same thing, it's pretty potent. So I'm just gonna put a little pinch in there, okay? Cumin, a couple sprinkles. Chili powder, just a pinch or two. Don't forget the salt. I always do, I always start with two pinches. I don't know why. And a little black pepper, just a little. All right, there's our dry ingredients. Now we'll move on to the wet. So you have my microplane, I'll be grating these next ingredients, okay? One clove of garlic, fresh turmeric. The recipe called for dry, but I'm gonna try fresh. So fresh ginger, same thing. The recipe called for dry, I wanna use fresh. All right, then we'll add some lemon at the end. Just a nice squeeze of some lemon. All right, so whenever you peel ginger, all you need to do is take a spoon and literally all the way around. You can do the same thing with the turmeric. It stains your hands, so be careful. It'll stain your clothes too. So you just grade this all with this fine grater here. Add the turmeric, some ginger, and then do the same with the garlic. All right. When you put it through this microplane, it just mashes it really well. So it dissolves in the food. And then we'll add the lemon. All right, once we got everything in, we'll whisk. All right. Nice and beautiful color. Okay, so today we're using chicken thighs. Got these thighs for $8.10. This is chicken country. If you know anything about Northwest Arkansas, we're right in the heart of chicken country. All right, we're gonna get that, uh, we're gonna get that rubbed in, marinated, and then we'll start on our salad. All right, let's roll over to the carrot salad, roasted carrot. We got some nice carrots here, this is what we'll need. We're gonna go ahead and marinate them in some tahini paste, honey, and soy sauce. We'll finish them off with some parsley and toasted sesame seeds. All right, so we're just gonna wash, peel the carrots. You know, uh, I remember when the Food Network was really hot, you know, when it first started popping, I used to watch it and I used to take a notepad and I would take notes, so. Make sure you guys got your notepad, okay? Whenever Emerald, Mario, any of those guys, I would take notes. All right, we're gonna cut some of them in half and the thicker ones in quarters, okay? Just like that. So it's kind of hard to do this, so just make sure you're careful. Make sure you have a sharp knife. Hey, Sir Sojo. And by the way, it is Fallon's birthday today. Yay, Fallon, happy birthday. All right, so we're gonna make the dressing real quick, or the marinade, whatever you wanna call it, uh, real quick. Real quick, like a little tahini, okay? Some honey, 
All right. Gotta get a little bit of that. We want that honey, that sugar from that honey. So it kind of, you know, balances it out and then caramelizes the carrots. It's kind of cool. We'll have the soy sauce here. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. All right. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some salt. Just a little, because we already added the soy sauce. So we just want a little, little of that, okay? All right, we'll toss that together. All right, so I forgot any ingredient. Imagine that, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little sesame oil. Not too much. I know the sesame, the tahini has some oil in it, but we just wanna add a little more so it doesn't stick, right? All right, so I could toss the sesame with the carrots, but I don't want to risk them getting burned, so I'm just going to toast them in a dry pan. All right, they're pretty, pretty toasty, depending on how toasty you like yours. All right, there they go. I put them on a sheet pan. We're going to pop them in the oven at 400 and 85 degrees to start off and then we'll lower it down. All right, so now it's time to slap the chicken on the grill, close the lid, and we'll put the carrot salad together. And we'll just drizzle it all around the carrots. Then we'll take some Italian parsley. All right. And toasted sesame seeds. All right, so now we're gonna start the brown rice. I have a cup of brown white rice that I washed and rinsed three times. I have some uh, water with some salt and butter. I'm gonna bring that to a boil. Then I'm gonna add the rice, simmer it, cover it, and we'll be done. All right, we have flipped the chicken and then they cook the rest of the way through. Looking really good. All right. All right, there it is. We added a little red onion and cilantro to our chicken taki. All right, so there it is, guys. Chicken tikka, carrot salad, roasted carrot salad, little brown rice. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, write some notes down. Leave some comments for me. What I can do, what you want to see. Like, subscribe, and share. Stay blessed and highly favored. Take care.